As Lord Mayor of Dublin, it brings me great pride to be here to launch this exhibition alongside Antonis de Leovraca. We are all involved in history making through our actions, the stories we tell and the objects we keep and pass on as well. And the signatories of the treaty 100 years ago were acutely aware of this, of course, as were Hazel and John Lavery as well. The Laveries and their studio played a central role in the treaty negotiations. As Oliver St. John Gogarty commented, at Five Cromwell Place, men could meet as humans beyond the scent of herded wolves. The artworks and objects in the studio and in state tell the story of a unique intersection between politics and painting. We see the brushstrokes applied in sittings that took place in precious moments between meetings, documenting a pivotal moment in Irish and British history. Studio and State provides us with a contemporary lens through which to reflect on these personalities, their courage, their wiliness, ambition, determination, and also their humanity, and as well as the momentous events that occurred and which shaped the birth of modern Ireland. It's said that great art illuminates our lives. It helps us to make sense of who we are and the world that we live in. This exhibition shows how great art also helps to illuminate the past. John Lavery was a remarkable artist. Orphaned as a young boy, he rose from poverty to become one of the most celebrated artists of the day. In this exhibition, we also see the artifacts of this pivotal time in Irish history the pens that signed for peace, the paper that gave Ireland the promise of independence and a better future. The treaty was a stepping stone to freedom, and the artworks and artefacts in this exhibition show us how that stepping stone was put in place.